Welcome back to the channel. This is the LD7 picking up from the uh, last video where dad was tearing this one down. He got it primed and painted this week. This one's getting a stock front end kit and <laughs> uh, much to our surprise, another LT1 intake that will not work because you won't have room to put a throttle body on it. Anyway, we're going to just end up bolting it on there. It is what it is. I don't know, whatever. Uh, We've been doing a little bit of behind the scenes work. I had to build two more pans, got the pans done. Dad's painting a few pulleys here and there. The LT1 is still dry and it should be dry enough today where we can touch it right now, it's still too tacky. So we're definitely gonna get this one finished up today. Dad's working on a few paint paint things still for this one, uh, throttle body and some other stuff, but I'm gonna go and get the rails on it and start trying to kind of get it put together here. Trying to keep the gas off the paint here. It's always a problem sometimes on the big, the fast turnarounds because they haven't had enough time yet for all the gas to dissipate out of these fittings. So you know, rails. So there's still fuel in these. So there's still fuel in these. So just make sure you put a little rag down or something because if that gas gets on that paint, your paint is going to be screwed up. Go. While I got this one upside down, I was going to show a um, previous video. A guy was saying that we should be putting old pans on first or whatever he was saying. I don't know. Anyway, there's your plug. This plug ties into the cam harness. So really, there's no way to do it. He was saying, though. Not real sure. And then I had another guy ask a question about the old quarters. I don't know if I can point to it. Kind of dark where I'm at right now in the garage, unfortunately. There, there's a piston squirter. So it squirts on the back side of the skirt for the piston. Um, from what I understand, all the 6.2s has it. All the uh, 6.6s have it. And I'm not sure about the 5.3 L84. But anyway, LD7 6.2, pretty much complete. We're going to put the intake on it that won't fit. The LT1 intakes, they'll fit. You can bolt them on, but it almost hits here, so you can't put a throttle body. But um, that's what we were told to put on. That's what we're going to put on. This one got a, uh, what was it, like an old six-speed or four-speed? Whatever this thing is. It's an old, like an LS-style transmission. It's five. I'm not, you know, we're not transmission people. We just bolt them on. I'm not sure what it is. But this one's finished up. We still got the LT1 burgundy in the back that we got to work on, too. But... And this one also, if y'all remember, it came in with one kind of LT1 coil and the rest are truck coils. And that's what we put back on there. Uh, we did end up off camera uh, put on the power steering pump bracket, but we don't have the pump. I, I guess the guy didn't buy a pump. I'm not really sure. Um, we put his motor mounts back on. And the uh, I think these are pretty much speed engineering from what I can... I mean, they don't have a logo on them, but they look like speed engineering shorty headers to me. But, yep, this one's wrapped up. All right, so I'm finishing up here with Ron Burgundy. And got the fuel rails on, got the fuel pump on. Went ahead and did a muscle car oil pan on it. I got to locate a balancer for it. It's getting the CVF kit that was previous on another engine. This is kind of a rush job. This guy wants to make it to some... I don't know, car show or SEMA or something. I, I really don't know. It's getting a C8 intake. Dad's sleeping underneath his truck right now. He's taking a nap. And um, not too much more to go. I got to put a transmission on it, transfer case, because it's getting a four wheel drive, like an older 
older full wheel drive transfer case, but it bolts up to the, I don't know if this is an eight speed or 10 speed at this point, but the paint came out nice on this one. looks pretty good. We couldn't touch it last weekend. So that's why I like, you may notice a little bit of difference in the shop because the video span between two weekends. Today it's cold here. It's like, I don't know, 40 degrees outside. It was 80 last weekend. This is how it goes. So I got the LT2 C8 intake put on and we use these adapter plates from ICT Billet. And uh, we know you can sand down the bottom. The issue is fuel pump. Even with adapter plates, it's kind of close. We know you can sand down the bottom. We just kind of like the look of the added plate. Gives a little bit more height. Matter of fact, on my motor, we were just talking about it. I'm probably gonna go higher. Um, I just like the look. If you look at Dad's, Dad's sheet metal intake is for a LS. So he had to go with two different adapter plates. There's one there and then one here. So one turns it, uh, I guess it gets the right angle. Then this one goes from like the square port of the LT head to I think the intake on his is Cathedral, if I remember right. Not not 100% sure, it's been a long time. But I like the added height. I don't care if it adds power, I don't care if it loses power. I just like the way it looks. So when I get ready to do mine, ICT Billet makes some different style plates or taller plates. They make one that's pretty good size that's for mounting a LT4 supercharger on an engine like this so it gets the supercharger up high enough to clear everything in there and that's what we're gonna do got the crank pulley on got the cvf adapter on and went ahead and got the cam harness on making some small progress been kind of bouncing back and forth between doing this and helping him on a few things on his c10 but about to go ahead and get the rest of the cvf kit on the water pump and a few other items then we gotta get it off the stand. We gotta get the transmission off the stand that's in the back and then get all that hooked up with the transfer case. It's gonna be a extensive little hookup here. We've done this before, but it's not ideal. I've got pretty much the whole CVF kit built almost and we're gonna hang it as one unit. It's not fun, but if you got two people, it, it definitely can be done. Um, I'm giving dad the easier job and I'm taking the hard job. Painting the water pump that color worked out good. It kind of blends a little it bit. It did. I, I think it that was a way to go. Yeah. Some people want the water pump painted engine color. Some people want them natural and cleared. Uh, we went with dark steel on this one. Hey, I got something. Dark steel on the pulley as well. And then you're gonna get so another pulley. Oh, watch out. We're gonna clean this up a little bit. This is good to see. But hitting bottom is the only around. way to change. So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling, bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling, I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing, you've got nothing, I'll keep hustling. Okay, we got Ron Burgundy, all finished up. Started life as a 2021 LT1 out of a Camaro. Now we got the C8 intake on it, CVF front end kit. So this one's got the 10-speed uh, transmission 
It has a older transfer case. I don't really can tell you too much about it, but it's an older transfer case. As you can tell, it's not electronic. It has the- This is going in a 87, 89 something Bronco. It's going to, yeah, it's going in a 80s model Bronco. But that's it for us. We got the muscle car oil pan. We put the guy's motor mounts back on. It did not have exhaust, so it gets none. It's missing a coal. If y'all remember the other L8762 we, we did um, earlier in this video, had a flat coal. So they stole a flat coal and put it on the L87 off this motor. So that's why we're missing a coil over here. Yeah. And we just put them together as kind of how they come, but obviously a little bit better looking. And then this throttle body was bent when it came in and we we're afraid to kind of bend it back out. We're afraid it may crack, but. It didn't hurt. You can still put a, put a yeah. hose on it, go where you gotta go. It'll, It'll be work. fine. But this is the intakes we prefer. These th these look really good on here. Like I was saying before, uh, on my LT1, I may go a little bit taller. Not sure. The taller plates that I'm looking at are $700. That's a lot of money for some plates. But turned out really well. Um, not a fan of the color, but it'll match the guy's truck, or, or Bronco. Sorry, it'll match the guy's Bronco. That's what he wanted. And that's pretty much it. I got to put the uh, little pretty cover on here to finish it off. Thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Ring the notification bell. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.